I got a message through the Facebook. Somebody claiming to be my school classmate, telling you're acting too smart. You don't have time to call us. You are a fake, you're fraud, you're stupid. All these things. I was shocked because I was not keeping in touch with anybody. Because my work is such, I have no time. If they come to me, I have time. So I kept as much as possible. I thought social service is my philosophy. Social service is my truth. Social service is my God. And But I thought I have another friend. So I copied that one and forwarded it to one of my classmate, old school classmate friend, Jeff. And Jeff felt very sad about it. And he said, I do not know that person was a retired military officer. He claims to be a classmate. Maybe military officers sometimes behave like that. Mm. Then another one friend said he has got some health issues and he asked for monetary help. And I, all this happened in the last two, three days. And I gave some help to him. And he said, oh, you are very good. You are so nice, etc. And very next day, I got a message from the same person abusing me. And again, today morning, I got another message. That person again telling, you help me, please allow me to see you. You are God, etc. I got confused. I immediately blocked both of them in the Facebook. In the messenger, I blocked it. And by noon, I got a message from another friend telling, please don't mistake. Somebody is hacking our messages and putting dirty things to make us split. I was shocked. See, I did not even double check that person directly, but I saw the message abusing me and I was thinking I do not even talk to them. I don't even call them. How could they accuse and abuse me? Another one friend I supported two days back and I got a dirty message. And they tell me they hack. So what I'm trying to tell is that kitchen talk segregated the our people from our family by listening to a third person. Drop that and then turn back to look how much we were able to understand us before you could de decide. I'm telling my children, Makla, you got angry. You threw your breakfast into the dustbin because seniors shouted, do you think you have thrown the uh, foot into the dustbin? You have thrown my foot. Your voice should be my, my voice. When you move out and you talk, it is like Rakham school talking. Every word from, from the school, anybody talks, it's Rakham school talking. Like you cannot even hit a person even with a flower, not even a girl with a flower. And even your talk and your manners and your behavior should be such smoothly. That should be a philosophy and our meditation. And that smoothness is the love. And love can move mountains and oceans. Alexander Ivanovich Herzen, born on 6th April 1812 in Moscow, in Russia, died on 21st January 1870 in Paris. In France was a Russian writer. When I say Russian writer in 1812, Russian Ukraine was one family. Same mother's children, two brothers, Putin and Ukraine president. What is his name? I don't want to tell his name. Was a Russian writer and thinker known as the father of Russian socialism and one of the main fathers of agrarian populism. With his writings, many composed while exiled in London, he attempted to influence the situation in Russia, contributing to political climate that led to the emancipation of the Serbs in 1861. He published the important social novel, which who is to blame his autobiography, my past and thoughts is often considered one of the best examples of that genre in Russian literature.
Alexander Ivanovich Herzen said, one must open men's eyes, not tear them out. Yes. In the villages and fight opens, it's a fist fight. But then the city people telling, we are so much developed. We are literate. So our talks goes, yes. Dialogues goes before we hit. But the dialogue is holding on a huge amount of terrifying weapons in the world to destroy the whole human race. If the, the, the educated class, the Americans, the NATO, the educated class, the Russians and the other people can hold on such a huge amount of weapons, which they call it literate class. What kind of dialogue is that? One must open one's eyes to open the women's heart. You must first allow, you must sit next to her. Even to for a plant to grow to get the best fruit, if you sit, but don't tear them out. Like the golden egg story, hen was laying a golden egg every day. And the house was enjoying. One day the husband of the father of the house decided every day one golden egg. If I cut the hair, chicken, there must be so many gold. I can get all the gold together. So he caught the hen. Even if the wife and children cried, he cut the chicken, the hen, and cut open. He couldn't find any gold. That every day is. Don't tear your wife into pieces. Open your eyes to see her eyes, the nose and the ears. Wow! Love can move mountains. If Putin is understood, and who is that um, person, that American president's name, what is his name? That old man? Begging. Begging, eh? Biden? Biden? Sorry, that would be what name. Now, if their eyes is open, how could Biden, Biden, make, call Putin and shout at him so that they can put more oil into the fire. One must open men's eyes. Open your eyes, Vladimir Putin. Open your eyes, American President Biden. And you can see all these people in that country is beautiful. Don't tear them into pieces by pouring oil, oil into the fire. Russia has done a mistake. Because Putin forgot to open the eyes to look into the eyes of the Ukrainian mothers and sisters. Such a beautiful land for a little anger. Yes, it is a truth. There is a massive death when a war both sides are injured. But NATO and America must also show 24 bar 7 for 30 days Non-stop 24, they bombed Iraq. In that 30 days of non-stop bombing, how many mothers and children must have gone to the hospital? How many dead bodies, where did they bury? The report says more than a million people or two million people got killed in the Iraq bombing. One-sided approach. Both are wrong. Biden is wrong. Putin is wrong. Every bleeder is wrong if they don't open the eyes. Every husband is wrong if they don't open. One must open men's eyes. Alexander Ivanovich Herzen, a Russian writer, says, Russian writer, that means that time it is Ukraine and Russia together, brothers. That open your eyes. One must open men's eyes. Not tear them out. We don't have to tear Putin's eyes or Ukraine's president's eyes because it is not listen. If you cannot convince, don't convict. Goes the saying. Now sit, please. Send a basket full of fruits and love them. If, if Putin likes nice chicken curry, please make and send it with a love letter. He will melt. Biden should melt. NATO should melt. I am requesting NATO and other people, don't put oil into fire. Putin, listen to me, Mr. Putin, Vladimir Putin, we love you. 
you are a strong martial artist you are a wonderful man yes you are a lover of animals and women and children you the way you handle not roughly so sweetly you handle don't even take a flower to beat a girl goes the saying put in stop it nothing will go wrong just drop your pants just nothing will happen like i said how you're going to go to swim just drop your pants and swim you can see the beauty the love of the mothers and the western world don't continue to throw because you wanted to practice all the weapons is lying down on your backyard you don't know what to do there's no space so you're practicing in ukraine stop it to alexander ivanovich hersin said one must open men's eyes we didn't open your eyes not tear them out putin don't tear them out love them love more mountains and oceans